where we've gotten federal funding, um, you know, our, our core funding comes from NOAA, the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration. But we've also received funding from NSF and uh, most recently EPA. Um, so one, a couple other programs that I've been involved with um, uh, lately where we've received, received funding uh, through EPA, one of them in particular is, um, oh, way back there, oh, okay. Oh, I'm stuck in a, let me see if I can go back this way. Is the um, Green Marina uh, project. And so that's the um, regional version of the um, Clean Marina program. And so we've got um, a whole area here on the Great Lakes Restoration Initiative. And so that's um, um, been, the, as Jen described, the fire hose of funding where we had sort of gotten you know, trickle funding uh, focusing on the Great Lakes. And so this is directly benefiting uh, Michigan businesses. And so um, here's the, the Green Marina uh, project. So this is uh, Michigan Sea Grant is taking the lead on this. And we're working in partnership with Wisconsin and Ohio Sea Grant programs. And then we're also reaching out to all the other Great Lakes states in terms of promoting these clean marina programs all throughout the Great Lakes region. And one of the things that we're coming up with is a standard set of best practices that all marinas can apply throughout the region. So it's consistent from state to state. So that's been a, a very important program for us. Um, we've got two more years uh, left on that grant and uh, we're proceeding very well. A lot of marinas in Michigan have contributed to um, uh, comments regarding best practices um, and that sort of thing. So um, I'll open it up for questions if any of you have any questions about any of these programs. Sure. Are you involved at all in land use policy along the lake shore? I'm thinking of uh, Aubrey McClendon's big uh, Singapore project in Saugatuck. Mm, I'm not familiar with that project. Are you, Jen? Okay. So the question is about our involvement in uh, land use policy and planning. And so the kind of support that we provide or our level of involvement, so I'm, in, I'm familiar with the project you're speaking about, is uh, we have a couple of extension agents um, who have expertise in land use planning and policy. And what they do is provide technical support. Um, so information, um, um, they basically support the communities to help them make the best decisions that they can make. We don't come out on one side or the other. Uh, the value of the Sea Grant program, we feel, is being a neutral convener, the ability to bring people on different sides of an issue together and help them work through that issue together. Um, so we wouldn't ha take a position on a specific policy, um, but we're happy to help provide the resources for the community to make uh, an informed decision. Well, we hope you all go and visit our website and all of our contact information is on there. Um, and we encourage you, if you have Great Lakes questions, to give us a call. If we don't know the answer immediately, we'll find the answer. I need your contact information. <laughs> and um, we'll make sure we follow up with you. So thank you for listening. Thank you. <laughs> well, Professor Jennifer Reed and Elizabeth Laporte from the Michigan Sea Grant. Again, the Wolverine Caucus, thank you so much for coming today. And as a sh token of our appreciation, we have for you these 14 karat gold Wolverine Caucus pins. Yes. So now you are official Wolverine Caucus <laughs> members for life. Thank Again, you. And we thank you for this excellent presentation. And certainly it's been valuable to hear about the invasive species, but also about the many great things that the Michigan Sea Grant is doing here in Michigan. We are indeed fortunate as a state to have such a resource. So I hope that you will join us again next month, April 17th, when we'll be talking about Google and the University of Michigan, what libraries are doing in this new age of Google and the digitization project. I was able to actually say that word. <laughs> so, <laughs> so we hope that you'll join us again. That's April 17th. And for that forum, we will be in the Speaker's Library at the State Capitol Building. That's on the second floor, room 252. 
So until then, have a wonderful spring-like day. And thank you for coming.